Ladies and gentlemen, your next act is Milton Jones. So, good evening. It's nice to be here. I've just arrived. I had my first taste of authentic Australian food on the plane. <laughs> to my mind, it tasted more like a small, hot, wet towel. The bloke next to me had no idea how to eat it. <laughs> he was rubbing it all over his face. <laughs> Life hasn't always gone that well for me. First job I ever had was washing dishes at an international radar station and the dishes were a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. <laughs> Almost drowned on my first day as a seahorse whisperer. <laughs> I said to my dad, I keep making mistakes. He said, you're talking to the wrong person. I said, oh no, not again. <laughs> I come from a family of failed magicians. I've got two half-sisters. <laughs> Mankind does not understand nature. In 10 years' time, all the tigers will be extinct. And why? Because we are consuming all the Frosties. <laughs> People don't understand evolution. I was talking to an Australian the other day, and he thought that he came from Darwin. Wherever I travel in the world, people have trouble sleeping. But if you talk to any Kiwi, that usually does it. <laughs> Sorry, people from New Zealand. Uh, relax, when I was in New Zealand, guess which country I used? <laughs> New Zealand. <laughs> Apparently this week, Prime Minister Tony Abbott has had gastroenteritis, but he's getting better as we speak. So perhaps if we stop speaking... <laughs> Sorry, Tony, I don't even know you. <laughs> That's uh, Prince Philip told me to say that. <laughs> That's all from me. Thank you very much. Good night.